uh, Merik, I believe. Merik wants to be an environment artist and lighting and lighting slash props. Yeah, back up your stuff all the time. Hard drive dies, everything's gone. Oh my God, super bad. All right, so this next portfolio, which I will link in chat. I wasn't doing that with the last ones, I apologize. Um, <clears throat> the drill is the newest. I worked hard on improving my workflow and it is a result of it. I fully incorporated ZBrush into my workflow and I need to know if it's an industry standard asset. To me, it looks clean. Lovebirds, quote unquote, and quote unquote asset creation scenes will be reworked soon with Unreal Engine instead of Unity. <gasps> Blasphemy. Uh, I already started planning, making slash finding additional assets and materials. The concepts are my own. I do not want to delete these this project from my portfolio. However, I have some idea about critical flaws of both projects. Interesting. Okay, I would I would seriously. It would seriously be helpful to know what you think I should be concentrating on. And let's check it out. So having the substance, if you're gonna have substance materials on here, but that's not really your focus, having them at the end is, I think is fine. Cause like it's these, these top guys, these are first impressions, right? It's all about them first impressions. Uh, I'm going to click on the ones that are interesting to me. Oh, really, Chris? Oh, my God, that's terrible. I'm sorry, man. So this is pretty hot sauce. Man, I like this um, this theme for ArtStation portfolio. Hope you like it. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. It's funny because, like, you just have to make one of these, right? and and two of these and then you mirror it around and it's just about like understanding the count and stuff like that right but it's it just looks so mm. it just looks so good so this is an area of rest right but still has detail to it it's yeah, it's good and slight imperfections like the extra rivet that's nice The overall uh, impression I get when you're looking at it as a whole is pretty, pretty dope. Oh, what is, what is this? Hmm. Come on, resolutions. So you see when, uh, like I was talking about MIPS earlier, when you saw the asset loading in and you, you can see the details, but they're really blurry. That's the lower MIPS coming in first. Um, someday. If you have not made a game yet and you're going to, you will notice eventually that while you're working on the game, all of your texture will stay in really low MIPS. And that usually means that you're over in your uh, texture budget and you're not really allowing for any more textures to be loaded in at any higher resolution. That's when it's time for optimizations. Dude, either way, Chris, that's super annoying that you have to deal with that stuff, man. No matter how prepared someone is, it's it's always like a big bump in the road. So this drill, what do you say about the drill? Drill is, is the newest. I worked hard on proving. So the drill was the newest, but that was all the way in September 6th. That's how behind we are, guys. Um, now you know why I'm doing so many portfolio reviews. There's a lower MIP. <gasps> And then load, load, load. Yeah. This looks like, you see this? That looks like detail normal. Does uh, Sketchfab support detail normals? That's, uh, that's a big deal if that's the case. Some nice roughness variation in here. Nice modeling. Oh, there we go. I was like, how do you rotate the light in Sketchfab? So an angle where you get interesting shadows, like it came in like this, right? So it's backlit, 
this, uh, for presentation reasons, having a uh, lighting maybe around here. So it's just more like front lit or like three fourths lit. It's being, it's coming in from over here. You get nice like material definition in your roughness. So you can see, see how much more interesting it is when you, when you rotate this way. Cause then you can see like all the work that was put in. It helps you understand the shapes uh, a lot easier as well. Oh, look at those fingerprints. Mm. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Chris, you should watch the videos on the new Moto stuff. Uh, they released some videos to show like how the workflows have changed a bit. Um, yeah, just so, just so you're aware, I'll start Moto up. I can do a quick thing after this. Side effects, what's going on? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're just reviewing some portfolios. Yeah, these, these definitions with the, oh man, I can feel the dirtiness. You just came home, nice. Uh, we're about an hour into portfolio reviews. We've got another hour to go and then, uh, and then tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, these, these are cool. So this asset looks uh, pretty good. Pretty good. There's some edges that are a little tight. It could could use a little bit of a softening through like um, a bevel in the high poly or just widening that edge. I guess that is a bevel, right? Feel the dirtiness. <laughs> oh, I feel it. <laughs> Weird. Something is not working on my stream. Unless no one's following me. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, Let's uh let's look at the most recent one. This this one, the sci-fi corridor. Oh my gosh. Strike a pose. Uh if that doesn't scream a game that I should remember, I don't know what doesn't scream that. Oh, what was that game called? Oh, that's going to bug me. Kajol. Thanks for us. Or should I say Godule? Dead Space. Yes, it's Dead Space. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for pulling me out of that hole. That's totally Dead Space. Those are the arms, right? Ah. Nailed it. I mean, if anyone were to nail that, it would be you, Chris. I'm Swedish. I said no. I, I am not Swedish. Unless you think I'm Chris Rasby. Oh. <laughs> You should sign up for my, my mentorship. I have another slot available. Cut the limbs. Taximika in advance. Uh, this scene's pretty pretty cool. I think I want to say that the smoke is like painted, but I don't think so. I know those screens. Oh, look at that modularity. So when it's when it's not lit, like you notice how much lighting like really does does the magic. Can we see the topology of the drill? Uh, Chris, we're going to read more about that mentorship. I actually don't know if he has another spot available. I think he does. Oh, what the, wait a tick. What are the odds? That was, uh, this was on our Discord community challenges last month. That's so funny. I don't think it's related. That's so funny, man. This music though, feels good. Uh, yes, yeah, so the details on here look really good. Sorry, I've got like sidetracked. The screens look, um, I don't know, they're not reading as screens. I guess maybe they need some uh, aliasing on them or they need to feel like there's some pixels associated with the, the way the text is and the icons are reading.
pretty sick though. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. That's great, man. This I like when people embed stuff like this. Good stuff. Good stuff. Interesting angle as well. So with characters that um Yeah, there you go, Chris. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so when you're doing characters like this, if I were to do the scene and I wasn't comfortable about the character or I just needed a character to be representative of the scene to either give you scale or uh, understanding of what you're looking at, I would probably do this and then give it like a black flat shade so that it's just more of like a silhouette. I think what's a what's his name did a scene like that? That that kind of steampunky environment had like characters walking around and people standing at vending machines and stuff like that, all like silhouetted in black. Anyways, this uh, this feels good. I think the break up on the ground is uh, could maybe use a little bit more roughness variation to like bring out the elements, but you want to make sure that the detail there is not too intense, or else like. It becomes very busy, right? And this is kind of the only area for your eye to rest. Yes, yeah, Cyber Runner. Thank you, Chris. Again, man, this guy. Yeah, didn't he? Didn't he do that? I thought he did that. If he didn't, I don't know who did. Man, this stuff was so good. I mean, it still is really good. It's just crazy. I'll just drop that in there. Uh, I mean, the portfolio is looking pretty solid, man. I think that, let me make sure I'm reading this all correctly. Helpful if you knew what I think I should concentrate on. So, you're saying you want to be an environment art, lighting, and props artist. So that's that is three very broad roles. Uh, being a props and environment artist is a little easier, and I think, I mean, easier to tie them together. I think naturally you will become a lighting's art, a uh, lighting artist if you're working on environment art. So like the fact that you did this scene is already proving you're doing props, environment art, and lighting. And composition, because, I mean, you had to choose, like, how to frame that shot. And that's why environment art is so br – it's a broad topic. I would just say that you're an environment artist unless you strictly want to just make props. Because if you're an environment artist, just making your scenes, you're going to have to light them. And that alone will tell people if you can light or not. And then I guess if you had to remove anything, probably these last three here. Let me look at this one really quick. The spray paint on the ground probably should be a decal. That way the resolution doesn't look so low. And having a detail normal on this will assist you in having the resolution hold up. Like these like like that scratch and this scratch here probably would stay, but everything else you would probably remove and then rely on detail normals to support you. But even like the, the ground here feels very, like if the blood is here like that, like, and this is a crack between like two pieces of uh, concrete, I guess I would expect the blood to like pool that way a little bit into the crack. Yeah, this just looks like earlier day stuff because your other stuff is uh, much more streamlined and detailed. This is pretty cool. It's it's a shame it's all really dark. But yeah, these these three here are ace. You could probably remove like like if you needed to pare some stuff down. Let me look at this one really fast. Let me just skim through these really quickly. Yeah, see, the resolution on this is insanely low. You wouldn't want to go this low ever, at least for 
console and, and PC. Lovebirds playing hooky. That's hilarious. No comment. Nice. <laughs> Got to focus. Got to focus on that. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to keep the materials, definitely, like Tej is saying in chat, group these up. And, like, if this is, say, this is a prop in this scene, then you would just combine these together. Just focus on this. I would even frame the creature more in, the, in that shot. Because, like, people will click on it if they all they see is this. They're like, oh, what is that? Oh, I need an adult. <laughs> I read that and immediately had to say it. That's awesome. All right. On to the next portfolio. Thanks for submitting.